Good afternoon, everyone. I'm taking you up to the Himalaya, Himachal Pradesh, Kashmir in India. Incredibly beautiful. But right now they're having a little bit warmer. The normal winter, but no snow for the last three months. I just dove back into a history book taking a look at the Mughal Empire. Hey, they had massive drought, food shortages, and lack of water because of the grand solar minimum changes in the Himalayan range. This is backed up by significant mass loss of the Himalayan glaciers during the Little Ice Age, focused right in Himachal Pradesh. Imagine that. Looking at the western Himalayan glaciers during the 16 and 1700s, colder and drier. Well, what about the rest of the Himalayan range? We have Nepal, Bhutan, Sikkim, colder and drier. Now we're getting record cold in Bangladesh. It's very clear, total solar irradiance, mega drought, and cold temperatures across the Indian subcontinent. Those of you in India, get ready for a mega drought. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. Let's jump over to northern India here. Areas in green, you'll see Himshal Pradesh, Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful Himalayan area. I traveled there during the 90s. Exceptional trekking. Some images here of Kashmir. It is absolutely stunning in this part of the world. Hindustan Times reporting warm winter spell. Bad for farmers, bad for tourism. Apple crop being affected. As well as there's been no rain or snow for three months. This is having an effect on the apple economics, but also with the wheat crop that's being farmed as well. No water, no food. So I thought, you know, let's look back in a history book, see if I can find anything from the Mughal Empire. And sure enough, the first report I came across here talks about the consequences of dearth grain harvests and lack of rainfall. Where at? Northwest India. That would include the Punjab though, but not in Pakistan. This went all the way from Gujarat up to the same areas through Himshal Pradesh up into Kashmir. So when we start to match up the same 1550 to 1820 time with significant population loss in the 1600s due to starvation, we have to look back and see if there's any other correlation with water River flows, glacial mass balance, and sure enough, they have done the most comprehensive tree ring analysis ever through the Indian subcontinent. And what they found out was there was significant mass loss in the Himalayan glaciers during the Little Ice Age. Now, it's counterintuitive because you think the Himalaya being so high and glacier covered right now would actually even get more glacier covered. But what happens is monsoons are affected. There's less rainfall. Now the map here is exactly the same areas where this study was carried out, but it's the exact same areas that are having the drought right now. It's so interesting how these 2017 reports are matching up with what happened in the 1550s. So let's take a look at what the temperature anomaly was in the Western Himalaya during that time. So we're looking basically at around, say, 1580, moving forward through the 1700s into the Dalton Minimum. You can see very clearly the drop off in temperature right around 1600 and then it occurs right around 1750 and then we get another temperature drop at around 1820. Dalton minimum, Maunder minimum. And you can see the Nepal upper chart also really matches up with the Dalton minimum drop. So let's jump over to the specific net mass balance. This is the western Himalaya. So we want to come all the way over to the left side of the chart here. It doesn't go any further back in time than 1728, but we can still get a good idea. You see the drops in that mass balance. And what I found really interesting when we come to around 1827 at that right side of the box there where it's gray, 1827 to 1836, this is a drop off in mass balance, not only in the Western Himalaya, Canadian Rockies, also Sweden, but that is the Dalton minimum. So what about the rest of the Himalayan range? And that was my thought too. What happened up in Nepal and Bhutan and Sikkim? Well, 
Himalayan Nepal, this temperature chart goes back to 1635 and we can see clearly again the drop-offs in temperature, especially around that 1830 mark, Dalton minimum, and the 1660 mark, 1635, that's exactly what was talked about in the Mughal Empire declines in the mass famines across India. What about Bhutan? Oh yeah, see that 1700 drop off there? What about the 1450s as well? Spore minimum. Now Bhutan seemed to be more heavily affected during the Maunder minimum than it was during the Dalton. So what about the eastern Himalayan regions? We can see again 1700, that steep drop off there. That seemed to be the most heavily affected time was that 1700 era across the eastern Himalaya where the western Himalaya was more affected in the 1650s. So there's about a 50 year time gap on the effect from maybe it's the movement across the range of cloud patterns and monsoon flows, but there's a 50 year delay in the onset of the cold coming across that range. So let's take a look at the total solar irradiance. This goes back to 1615 in the top there. And what's interesting on the right side of the chart, that's today's TSI and the monsoonal flow bringing more rainfall to this current air. We're a little bit warmer. Obviously, we came off a 9,500 year grand solar maximum, which we're plummeting off of into a grand solar minimum. So when we come back in time, they even circled the low points up there. So you can see starting right around that 1650 era, this matches up exactly what was happening with the famines in India. And what did we see just a few weeks ago? Record cold temperatures back in Bangladesh. Now those temperatures broke all temperature records ever kept. Of course, the records only went back into the 50 year mark. But where are those records during the British occupation of that place for several centuries? I know that climatic information is there, but why does it not count? Why does it have to be the official temperature record from the official stations that were officially started in the 1950s? that last 300 years of data just suddenly doesn't count anyway lowest temperature in four decades it's the cold snap that broke all records and it wasn't just a record break it was a record smash through to the lower next base level so now we look back in history and we see the future so i'm going to say india get ready for a mega drought seriously you're not going to be able to grow food like you do today and with already the rice price controls down in Indonesia, exports from Myanmar being curtailed, the loss of rice production in Bangladesh, and the media still not discussing the issue. I hope this opens up some dialogue with somebody somewhere. Hope you got something out of the video. I appreciate your time and watching. History is repeating.